Wonder where you snuck off to last night. Yeah, I said it's Tyson's walk of shame. Oh, don't worry, I'm not judging. Just hope you were careful. Mum, I'm only saying. A bit young to become a grandma just yet. Anyway, at least one of us is getting over a broken heart. Sean called from Dublin last night, said he was missing me. Don't fall for that. He said we don't need men. Oh, no, we don't, but they're nice to have around sometimes. Tyson's a nice enough lad. And if he helps you get over Vinny, then, uh, crack on. How's he doing? He's bearing up. After I had a pop at him yesterday. Well, he's not the only one that's losing patience. We've been waiting weeks for a call from Liv and he couldn't even get an address out of her. Aaron's been up half the night searching the internet for a sandwich hot with butterflies on it. Vinny asked Liv where she was. He reckons that she was drunk and she even accused him of tricking her. He could have reasoned with her. What if it's that easy, then why don't you try it instead of locking her in the house? Found Sandra's caravan. Oh, that's amazing, sweetheart. It's in land, something near real. Get you, Miss Marple. Right, we'll go and get Liv's prescription and you and Vinny can get straight over there. Aaron said I've done enough. No, it's you that she wants to see. Tell her what she needs to hear and we can have a home by tonight. Like what? I can help her stop drinking? Ideally, yes. But look, how, right? It's got to come from her and right now she doesn't even see she's got a problem. You can still talk to her about it. She might take it better from you. We're not exactly close like we used to be. I take it that's a no, then. I can't help each other, I'm sorry. Vinny, please. Fat like you see is, leave it. Good luck. Wish Vinny was going with you. There's no point putting pressure on him. You changed your tune. Well, if Liv comes back, she's going to want to see him, isn't she? So there's no point scaring him off. Yeah, I suppose I was a bit harsh on him. Got your text about Liv? Aaron's off to fetch you now. What, on your own? I thought Vinny might come with me, but he's not up for it. Well, I'll jump in with you. I'm not working today. You want to spend your day off dragging Liv home? Let's call it a road trip. Sounds better. I'm not sure what state you should be in. And? Seriously, I'm, I'm happy to come. He's going. Mother's orders. Best get in them. Thank you. Hey, I've got a signal. I'll screenshot it in case we drop again later. Right. We carry on until we get to T-junction. Left, right after that, and then straight on towards the coast. Oh, come on then, I thought you were in a rush to get there. Yeah, and then what? Come home, Liv, it's all gonna be different. Nothing's changed. Well, maybe not that. Well, nothing has changed. Vinny's still backing off, and Liv still blames herself for Paul, and then if my mum gets involved again, she's gonna kick off. Well, they still care about her. It's her home, her whole life's there. She just needs reminding of that. Well, Sandra's not gonna be helping her either. She'll be encouraging her. And then what's Liv gonna want? A drinking partner or someone who's going to tell us to stop? Well, tell her it's not going to do any good. She's drinking to block out leaving Paul at that barn. She needs to resolve that with Vinny first, and, and then she can tackle the booze. I can't just bang their heads together, can I? No, you can't. You need to be patient and support them. And I will too, if you need me to. I'll help you out every step of the way. I suppose you got me this far, aren't you? You must be doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> 